Hey, I'm James Bailey. I'm going to be doing a video today training Jeremy. He is a right defenseman. Uh, he plays hockey uh, in his league. And we're going to be going through um, a plyometric, a couple of plyometric exercises, uh, a lower body strength routine, as well as some flexibility movements as well. So here we have the athlete just doing a quick warm up on the bike, just to get all loose. He's gonna be in on here for about five to ten minutes until it feels comfortable and ready. So here we have the athlete doing a quick dynamic warm up here, just pulling knees up. Right now we're just going into a quick static dynamic into a quick dynamic warm up. Doing quick quad stretch into butt kicks. Yeah, just go ahead. So here we have the athlete just doing some leg goblet squats, playing around, opening up the hips a little bit in areas that he feels tight, prepping for some squat movement. Doing about five to ten of those, and then he's going to move into a light lateral walk with the bands. Just staying in a strong athletic position here. Just taking about 10 steps, 10 yards, and then he's coming back. Once he comes back from here, he's gonna be just doing a light back pedal walk, getting the glutes ready and prepped as well. So here we just have the athlete playing with a, doing a hockey specific exercise. Usually you'd want to use a, an actual hockey stick, but we didn't have one today. And we're just doing about 10 seconds each leg for about five rounds. Getting him used to doing balance and stick handling at the same time. So here we just have the athlete working on some single leg unilateral plyometric exercises. Very important when it comes to hockey specific exercises. Right here, we're just going to be doing about six sets, two reps, and around 30 to 45 seconds rest. So here we have the athlete still working on some power movement exercises. He's going to go into from two legs to single leg, two reps each. Having a strong carryover into hockey, one of our main focuses is going to be on the power output of uh, the legs as well. A uh, back squat that Jeremy's about to go through. Uh, we're going to warm up in this rack, and then we're going to be moving on to the power rack. Uh, in the other side of the gym pretty soon. So main things that we're looking for is strong breathing into the diaphragm, uh, external rotation in the knees when we're at the bottom of that squat, keeping our chest nice and high depending on whereabouts you put the bar on the squat uh, on your back. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm going to go through the demonstration. So first thing, come in, deep breath already, unwrap, walk out, set feet depending on hip anatomy and how the athlete likes to squat and you're going to simply just be coming down with the back butt, come up. I'm just going to make sure that he's got the uh, proper cues coming in. So he's going to be doing the exact same thing, finding a shoulder width that he likes. He likes to squat high bar. First thing he's doing is sticking the butt out and almost simultaneously bring the knees forward at the same time, keeping chest nice and high. And coming up, breathing is a uh, diaphragm on the way down to keeping the breath on the way up as well. So we just have Jeremy warming up here, getting nice and comfortable. Jeremy are doing about 10 20 reps, feeling out in certain spots where he wants to feel a little bit more comfortable. Jeremy knows his body pretty well, so he knows how to warm up and how to get ready as well for those back squats. So we're still just, we're going to be today building up to a two rep max for his squat. We're trying to keep the bar line nice and straight, trying to keep it nice and powerful at the same time. 
for hockey players, the big thing is moving big weight pretty fast. Just going for Jeremy's two rep max. Things that we're looking for is tight core, brace core, breathing into the diaphragm. He's going to be bringing his elbows back, height back. Making the bar movement nice and straight as well. So here we have Jeremy performing the multi-directional three-point lunge slide. This is one of my favorite hockey specific exercises when it comes to strengthening and stability. He's going to be going through this. He's going to be doing about th three reps each way three times. So that's good. Switching legs. He's keeping the weight down right now on his right leg while still keeping down a nice stability and strength down on his left leg in the three point. This is very, has very strong crossover to hockey when it comes to providing power off of the push when skating. So we're still working on some unilateral exercises. We're going to try to bust in an exercise uh, to strengthen the glutes and work on the hip pinch during the exercises. So we're going to be doing a single leg glute bridge off the bench. I'm going to do a quick demonstration for Jeremy before he gets into it. So first thing, we're going to get nice and set. Bring the hips nice and high. Leg comes up. Coming down, nice and controlled, over to the bottom. So Jeremy's just getting ready here, getting nice and strapped in, bring the leg up, he's going to bring the hips down, quick explosive movement, squeezing the glutes at the very top, he's going to be feeling it here in the glutes and the hamstrings, still working on that unilateral power. So Jeremy's just going to be performing around 12 to 15 reps in the back extension on the glute ham raise machine. Uh, very important for hockey players, they're constantly leaned over while skating, um, so you really need a strong lower back. The erector spinning gets overworked a lot, and it's something that we need to strengthen and develop. Here we're just going to be making sure that the back's nice and flat, and you have a strong glute um, contraction at the top, and same with the erector spinning, make sure that you're feeling those as well through the exercise. So here we have Jeremy doing the cross-body uh, rotational core exercise with a bar addition to it. One of the important things about this aspect is that Jeremy is actually a left-hand shot in hockey. So one of the things that we focus on is keeping and working on the imbalances that hockey players can have on the overuse of doing the external, on, on the rotational, on the core exercise when they're left-hand shot, they tend to lean one way. So one of the things we want to do is attack those imbalances and make the athlete more complete. This is a super strong exercise because it has a really good crossover to hockey performance as well. One of the cross core rotationals that we use. So now we have Jimmy working on the conditioning part of his exercise. He's just going to be doing about uh, 40 yard prowler sprints. He's going to take it there and then come back as well. What's really nice about these power sprints is that they mimic uh, So we're just going to be going through the, down, the uh, cool down stretch now. First thing that we're going to be starting off with is a hip flexor stretch. So we're just going to be coming down, squeezing the glute. If you want to do more of an advanced variation of the hip flexor stretch, you just bring your arm up and then lean into it slowly. Think about 20 to 30 seconds uh, for that stretch. Next cool down stretch is just going to be touching toes to the best of your ability, keeping the legs nice and locked. The knees are going to be locked here. Slowly letting your body just lean more and more forward. So next exercise here is just a lunge with a quad stretch right here. You should be holding this one as well, like all, all of our stretches for about 20 to 30 seconds. So here we just have Jeremy doing a nice little kind of a dynamic exercise right here, holding into a static movement. And he's going to be 
This is helping you stretch the hamstrings, the lower back, opening up the hips. When he goes into the side movement as well, he's also stretching the lats, the oblique. So you have a lot of multiple stretches throughout this one. Holding each movement for about 10 to 15 seconds, switching up, hitting each spot about three times. So for this one, he's just getting into a nice relaxed position. He wants to feel it and it's about bringing the glute and the glute medius as well. As you might be feeling a bit in his uh, IT band and his hamstrings as well. You can also move around, find some tight spots and really just lean into those movements where he's finding little tight spots in his hips and his glutes. Same thing, holding for around 30 seconds for uh, the stretch. And just finding finding those nice spots to, uh, where you get really comfortable and trying to loosen up the tight muscles. So here we have Jimmy performing the calf stretch. Gets him to, into a just nice spot against the wall where his foot is up and he just slowly leans it more and more into his calf, playing around so finding those tight areas as well. Often uh, the calves are a muscle that are overlooked when it comes to a stretching routine as well. Pulling this for about 30 seconds for each side.